Well, it just hasn't been able to scourge these uh, dropships successfully, and that's that's unfortunate for him. Um, and Boxer now lifting his command center. I think he's going to try to expand at the 10 o'clock position, which is on the main area, <laughs> not the pit, I guess, not the inside 10 o'clock pit on this map. Uh, in any case, um, it looks like Yellow actually has... No, I think, uh, yeah, he has a fourth expansion, I think, a fourth base, third expansion, and Yellow's now getting his evolutionary evolution chamber and a Queen's Nest, so we'll be expecting some Hive units. The boxer, once again, is he going to go in? No, he's not going to go in. And now he's dropping into Yellow's main, actually. He's got three uh, dropships full of Medic Marines, and Yellow might be caught off guard here, actually. Uh, Yellow only having Hydralis. Uh, he does have a Lurker there. Um, and Yellow is just moving his Hydras to the best position possible. But I don't know if this will be able to hold, actually. With that Lurker there, with that Lurker there, it may be able to hold. Um, what I, what I'm, what's surprising, well, I guess not too surprising, is that Boxer has not made any science vessels yet. And, and Boxer reaching around, I think he's going to be able to kill that Evolution Chamber. And now he's uh, he's spreading his Marines out so he doesn't get killed by the Lurker too easily. And uh, he's going in for an attack again. Uh, he's losing uh, he's losing a couple of Marines. Up, and now he's going to be able to attack the Mineral Line. He's managed to position uh, himself behind between uh, Yellow's forces and his his drones, so he's going to lose a lot of drones there. The Boxer are doing a really good attack this time. Uh, this attack is really going to hurt Yellow uh, if he manages to take down more of these tech buildings. Uh, yeah, Boxer are just all over this main here, and uh, Yellow not being able to do too much. He, he should be moving those Lurkers up a little closer, though. He has just about enough to take out all his Manic Marines with his Lurkers. Uh, Boxer has his second base up, and that Lurker that was forgotten about is now planting itself, and he's going to start picking off these SCVs until Boxer notices. Um... I'm not sure if Boxer does notice because he's probably busy getting attacked elsewhere. So that Lurker is really just starting to pick off all of his SCVs. And Boxer really just uh, is squeezed into a corner here. Um, and Yellow should be able to take this out pretty soon because he's morphing like five or six Lurkers there. So, uh, and he's getting his Hive also. And Yellow just not committing with the attack here. I felt like he almost had enough Hydralis to p take out that force just with the Hydralis himself and that one Lurker. Uh, and Boxer going in again. Uh, Yellow being really tentative with these Hydralis. I feel like he's wasting them. He really had them masked up nicely, and now, um... Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure about, about Yellow's micro there. Interesting. Maybe it's just Boxer's positioning is really good. Uh, he's going to lose his Queen's Nest, but that's not going to bother him that much. He already has his Hive going. And Boxer's still alive with those five Marines and, uh, and three Medics. Very nice by Boxer. Uh, and poor by Yellow. And Boxer managed to reinforce his, uh, his, his, his force there with more more dropships. And now reached uh, now Yellow's in huge trouble. I'm mean, becoming Clazard. Uh, calling everyone Reach, but <laughs> now Yellow's in huge trouble. Um, he's going to lose his main, and, and probably lose his uh, main, and he's going to lose his hive if he loses his main. So Boxer doing this ferrying here with his dropships, he really, uh, those dropships really coming in very important f for Boxer, and a Boxer just just being able to just stay in Yellow's main, um, and Bo Yellow just not being able to evict him from this position here. And while Yellow does have a lot more resources, uh, I feel like he's definitely behind now, uh, especially if he loses his his hive, um, and, and Yellow, once again, not burying his lurkers. Now he's got his uh, lurkers barreled, and he's going to push back those medic marines. Um, and now Boxer does have uh, science vessels, so now he's going to get constant detection. He'll be able to launch his attacks more effectively. Um, and it looks like, yeah, Yellow did set up a base at the uh, corner, at the 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock position. And uh, he hasn't really started mining in it, though. Um, uh, that is a spawning pool going up, actually. I guess uh, he lost his spawning pool also in the last attack. And now he's going to go in with these lurkers. Um, he, sh he's, he still hasn't uh, he still hasn't burrowed those lurkers. Or I guess he didn't need to borrow those lurkers. He did take out Boxer's little force there. And he did manage to take out the dropships. So that's a boon for yellow. But now he's going to get attacked from another front, I feel. Boxer coming down with three more dropships, presumably full of units. And yes, he is going to be able to probably take out these two sunken colonies. Um, Yellow desperately trying to use his drones, but Boxer picks up his medic marines uh, to prevent them from getting surrounded by those drones. Very good of him. Um, but now Yellow is going to go make some hydros to help in his defense. And uh, now Boxer going for a drop here, but this is in the midst of three lurkers, and he wisely decides not to drop there. Um, oh, and, and Yellow takes out one of these dropships with his uh, hydrolisks, so Boxer down only to two dropships from what I can see. Um, he lost a lot of dropships there. Now I think uh, Yellow's managed to save himself pretty well here, and now I feel that Yellow's going to have the lead. Boxer's all mined out in his main, actually, um, so he's really running off of one expansion base, and that base does not have a lot of uh, SCVs there. Boxer is faring all of his SCVs over there, but uh, 
if Yellow decides to keep expanding or to push in for a drop here, I feel that ye uh, that Boxer can't hold despite his good attack on Yellow's main. Uh, he just cannot take out enough drones and enough production to really hurt Yellow that much. Um, Yellow did let him stay in there a little too long, I felt, but we'll have to see what the long-term effects are. Uh, Yellow did have to rebuild with Spire, as we're seeing here. And uh, finally, he's going to get some uh, drones here at the lower right. And we'll see if if Yellow decides to go for any high-level units, and Yellow has a drop here of five overlords, I presume, full of uh, full of goodies. And now he's going to be dropping Boxer's main here with Lurkers. Um, looks like four Lurkers going down here, and that's going to be big trouble for Boxer because he's not going to be able to produce from those barracks. Uh, Boxer does have a tank, though, it seems. I didn't know when that came came out, um, but that tank's going to help him take out these uh, Lurkers here really well. I feel that uh, Yellow should probably advance those Lurkers and, and try to take the tank out. And now Boxer is now Yellow is going in with those five dropships to Boxer's only base here, only producing base. But Boxer very smartly has two tanks up on the ledge there, so he's going to uh, take out those uh, forces. And Boxer going for another drop on Yellow's main here with the remaining medic marines. I was wondering where they were, and he's going for a killing blow here in the main. Uh, this is very, very good of Boxer. This is just just great play here, ignoring his expansion. Uh, knowing that he has to go for the win here, uh, being so far behind economically, he really has to do a lot of damage to Yellow, and I think there's a tank in that drop also. Um, I saw some splash there. Uh, yes, there is a tank, definitely. And he's going to take down this Hive. Um, that's really, uh, just really smart of Boxer, and not bothering with the defense, knowing that if he just stayed on the defensive, he would just lose this game because of resources. And going on attack, now he's going to take out Yellow's Hive and all of his uh, tech buildings. I felt that Yellow may have been um, 